Good afternoon. Uh, I recently received some uh, questions on Hebrews 3.16 uh, regarding my assertion that the uh, modern version had it wrong. Uh, they read uh, differently than the Reformation uh, versions uh, with King James, of course, and the Geneva Bishops and the other uh, Tyndale. Uh, and uh, therefore, they are an error. And uh, they're an error because they assume uh, and a yes answer to a false question. And let me read quickly some of their assertions here about Hebrews 3.16. Uh, New Malcolm Standard, for who, for who provoked him when they had heard? Indeed, did not all those who came out of Egypt led by Moses? Uh, the indeed is assuming the yes answer to that, when in fact it wasn't. It wasn't all those who came out of Egypt. So it's not just as, as asserting a yes to a false to a falsehood. NIV, who were they who heard and rebelled? Were they not all those Moses led out of Egypt? Again, that's a rhetorical question assuming a yes answer, when in fact uh, it is not true. There were two, there were two who didn't uh, rebel, <clears throat> and therefore uh, that's a false answer. Uh, and uh, that's an error. You would be reading that, you would think the way they're setting up is that they're setting up that as a true statement when, in fact, not all those who came out of uh, Egypt rebelled. Uh, New King James, for who haven't heard rebelled? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt led by Moses? No, it wasn't all who came out of Egypt led by Moses because Elijah, uh, you know, uh, Caleb, and Joshua didn't rebel. And that's the context of Hebrews 3, 16 through 19, is who got into the land. And their view of these people didn't get into the land, but two did get into the land. And that's in Numbers 2, uh, 14, Two through uh, uh, ten, and through that rest of that chapter, is talking about those uh, who uh, uh, didn't make it in the land uh, through uh, uh, non-belief, because they rejected God and uh, they, uh, didn't believe in Him, all His promises, didn't mix their promises with faith, while Caleb and Joshua did. So the problem with Hebrews three sixteen is you can't just look at Numbers uh, fourteen two and say, well, well, the congregation rebelled, because this is assuming that. Uh, uh, everyone that Moses led, led out of, of Egypt rebelled, when in fact, and it's, just, and it's asking the reader to make a, an, a positive uh, affirmation to this statement. Surely all those whom uh, Moses led out of Egypt and rebelled, uh, and uh, NIV, New Mel, Stan, all these, they all had the, the reading that you had say, oh yes, all they rebelled, but in fact, they all didn't rebel. So it's setting up a false uh, answer uh, to a, um, a false state. And so it's asking the reader to, to nod their head yes to, oh yes, everyone, surely all those who are led out most rebelled, uh, and uh, the most led out of Egypt rebelled, when in fact that's not true. And uh, that's why the King James has it correct. For some when they heard, for some when they heard did the book, albeit not all that came out of Egypt. And that's very important. And so, uh, and that's, that's why those people uh, uh, didn't get into land uh, because those particular people who didn't uh, believe what most uh, what God had said and uh, didn't believe the promises didn't get into land, but uh, two did, Joshua and Caleb. So those exceptions are very important to keep in mind, and the modern versions ignore those and therefore uh, put a false reading in when in fact the exception is that there were two exceptions, and uh, God makes it clear about that in Numbers 14. And these readings here would make you believe, uh, or would make you read, when you read it, would make you think, uh, by the way they're translating it, that, uh, that indeed all did rebel, when in fact that's not true. So they, the uh, modern readings have put a false, uh, a falsehood into their reading there. And uh, those people in equipment say, well, you know, they're 14 2, they say, well, the congregation rebelled. But then it, it also clarifies that in 14 6 and throughout. And making a point that Joshua and Caleb were not included in that, and so this com these comments here don't uh, don't clarify it, and therefore they give you a false impression that in fact everyone uh, who uh, was led out of Egypt by Moses did in fact rebel, and none of them got into land. When that is not true, uh, there were at least two Caleb and Joshua who did get into that land. And that's those are two very important uh, exceptions that need to be kept in mind, as the King James Bible uh, clearly does. So um, I just want to make a short little video to clear that up and uh, to point out that the modern versions are, in fact, wrong in Hebrews 3.16. And uh, they are asserting, a, uh, uh, trying to uh, get a true answer uh, to a false statement. Amen. Thank you.